Hi, today I'm going to do a uh, whatever comes to my mind for a holiday makeup. I'm looking for something smoky, sultry that can go with um, with really anything. I'm really looking for something fun. So uh, stay tuned if you want to see what all that is. Uh, I'm currently already have all of my foundation on and my skincare is done. So I have a great glow. I have an even skin tone. I threw some contour on um, and now we're going to play with some color. So I'm just going to tuck my hair so you have a good view. Uh, it's important to start with your brows. And what I love about the brow tin is I have brows already, um, so I don't need to worry too much about outlining them and shaping them. So if you're like that or if you've got brows that are clear, this is your, your go-to product. It is our brow tint, and we'll see what a difference this makes and how easy it is to use. You're just stroking it through your hair, the hair on your, on your brows there, making sure that you finish your brow out so that it comes to a point at the end and as you can see even just that little bit it's given lift and shape to that side this is dark brunette all right so I got my brows on Next, what I'm going to do is take my all-over powder brush, and actually, I'm going to start with my crease brush, and I'm going to today build in a really sultry look because I'm going to work on the corners first, and then lighten part of my eye so that it gets even brighter there. So I'm going to go in first with a hazelnut. I just like the depth that putting a little bit of skin tone can bring. Long bristles out. I'm just starting with that crease. Now I put primer on my eyes already, so that's gonna help all of this to stick. Uh, what I love about mineral powder is how buildable it is. Just giving it a good blend. And again, this is just building that depth and dimension into the look. going to come in with a smudger brush, same color, and I'm building it underneath my eyes as well. This is going to help with just letting this look really smoky and really gorgeous at the very end. Um, I'm not going to worry about fallout right now. The great thing is we get to clean all of that up when we're done. Alright, so building that color. And then I even am thinking I could go a little darker there. So I'm going to come with a little bit of mahogany. This is just giving me a little bit of a base in that crease to work with. Even though I'm gonna go grays and smokies, I don't just wanna just do grays and smokies on there. All right, so next I'm coming in with some shadow. And these are all Mary Kay Chroma Fusion colors. Now I'm gonna start here and pull this one down in. right to my lash line. Again, I love my blending. Still building that. Now I really want this sexy and sultry, so I'm gonna bring it down to that uh, beautiful black onyx color. Okay. 
And by using the different colors to build this depth, you're gonna get a really interesting finish. Um, it's gonna have that depth and dimension. It's just gonna have a, a really sultry look. You're going to really look good this holiday season. And that's my goal. I have an event in a few weeks and I just like to play with makeup beforehand. It's not always good to try a new look on a day where you need it to be perfect. Sometimes it's, you know, really important to play with those looks days ahead of time so that you can be prepared um, and, you know, kind of know how to work out some of the kinks maybe that you run into. Now I'm going to go back underneath with a thinner line, um, starting with shadow, just so that I'm not, you know, just putting all this heaviness under my eyes by going straight to the black. And then at this corner, I'm pulling up because eventually this is going to be right where the wing kind of goes to. Oh, I've got a little bit of dust in my eyes. That doesn't feel so good. All right, so got that in there. I have some fallout on my cheeks, but I'm gonna clean that up later with a powder brush. As you can see, I'm starting to really build this corner. Oh, I really like that. Now, when you're building in your crease, you don't wanna be using sparkles because this is where we're building depth, and so we wanna use a matte color in our crease. Just softening it just a little bit with that brush. All right, and I'm gonna just take a second just to always have sponges and brushes all around just so I can clean that up. All right, so building that crease. So today I'm doing that first. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of matte highlight up here just to kind of soften that look up top there and putting highlight to my brows, so it's getting a little bit of lift. So next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right in for that lid color. And I'm gonna start with a light beige concealer. Now I'm gonna just put a little bit on my wrist so that I can dissipate that color easier without getting a big blob of it on right on my eyelids. So um, I just put a little bit right there on my wrist so I have a, an access to it without putting too much on it once. Going in with my concealer brush. Being very careful to keep this on my lid. Now I'm not covering the whole lid here. I'm only gonna do where I'm, I want my light color to go. So I'm coming out to meet that corner spot but I'm not going the whole way out because I want it to build the depth in that corner. So again, this side. Using that great concealer brush, it's just being really light, really specific where I want that color. Now, if you ever have a trouble, trouble with the color showing up on your skin, this is a great trick to use. All right, so now you wanna make sure that you're even. I'm gonna look in my mirror and make sure that I'm fairly even with where those colors are because this is gonna help the next color to be bright. If you see, like, as I'm even sitting here, like, whoa, that's really bright. Um, so with this being for a holiday, I wanna come in with two different colors, actually. So right in the middle, I'm gonna be doing um, smoky quartz and I'm doing granite on the whole lid. So I really want to bring in like a a pop there with the granite, just kind of giving it a base of that gray. But I just love the way this smoky quartz just is this gorgeous color. And as you can see, I'm really getting some brightness because of that concealer. And 
because I've already built in my crease, you know, it's giving it's giving me that light and dark and there's a real defined line um, there. So it really looks specifically placed on. And I used a light beige concealer. So you can do that. You can go down to the ivory. It just depends on your skin color. There's not really a, a perfectly right answer for what you're putting there. So got that on. And then I'm even gonna go through with a touch of my lighter highlight, a little bit of my Moonstone, just to fill in and just give lots of shine to this area. It's an area I wanna highlight. Um, and so my eyes are looking really bright right now because I've got light colors there. So I've got that. Um, I'm gonna bring a little bit of that Moonstone into my tear duct area. That's gonna help that to be bright. And then a little tiny bit of shimmer up here. We talk about highlighting and contouring. You know, so I like to be very intentional with my glitter. And so I like to do a matte highlight and then go back through with just a smidgen of the, you know, the shimmer and glitter so that when the light hits my eyes, it just catches those spots and doesn't make my whole brow look super shiny. Um, you know, personal preference, but that's mine. Next, what I'm gonna do is come in with my liquid eyeliner pen. Now you're not, notice I'm not making just a straight line. I'm really doing a lot of strokes there, getting that on. Now that line that we're following from our bottom lid, it goes from your tear duct, it follows the bottom lid down, comes back up. So I'm gonna start using this as an imaginary line right here, and that's where I'm gonna be putting my wing on at. I'm using the imaginary line from the corner of my eye that we're connected to the bottom lid, and going up. It's the same place where we were cleaning up before. Now that I've got that line on, I'm gonna close my eye and bring it down. And now it's connected to the top lid. This is gonna let you get a way more consistent line with your wings than anything else you can do. Again with that wing. And now because I want this smoky and hazy, um, and also because it helps to smooth the line out, I'm gonna go back in with my smudger brush, back in with that onyx. And blend. just smoking it out. Don't be afraid to work it. Don't be afraid of your color. If you don't like it or you go too thick, you can always go back through with your lighter color again. Just making sure to bring that color down. So, I've got a real sexy, smoky look going on here. And I'll take pictures afterwards so you can see what it looks like too. Um, but it's coming out really good, I like it. All right, so I'm gonna come in there. And you know what, I'm even gonna go back through with my liquid pen. with my favorite mascara, and um, that's gonna be the Mary Kay Lash Love Lengthening. 
love this silicone brush. I love the shape it gives. And this is always my layer one. I got a little bit on my face so what I'm going to be doing is letting that dry for a moment before I pick it off that's gonna let me um get it off a lot easier I got it right under there happens to the best of us all right so I did two coats with that I like to go back through especially for holiday party with our lash intensity mascara this is going to give me a lot more boldness Oh, come say hi to our video. Dang it. Come on, come on and say hi. Mom, mommy, open this. Okay. Special appearance by Tommy. Mommy. What's mommy using? Uh, that. That? Okay. Yeah, that's tools. Yeah, you got tools. Multiple thin coats is going to give you a better finish. Alright, so I got my mascara on. So next I'm going to jump back in with our highlight and our cheek color. Actually, a lot. I'm not going to do that next. Next I'm going to go with the under eye corrector. That's going to help to tidy up everything else under my eyes. So first I pull that one mascara spot off and it picked right off because I let it dry. All right, got that cleaned up with my sponge. Now I'm going to go through with my under eye corrector. As a peach undertone, watch what it does to my under eyes. You see that I've got some circles that are visible there. Here, I'll do one eye first so you can see. All right, so you can see it took away a lot of darkness. This eye is so much brighter. I put this on every day. All right, so I love the way that looks. Now I'm gonna go back through with my powder brush. I've already applied my contour. Um, I applied some blush, but I'm just gonna to touch up my blush just a smidge. This is, again, you're bringing highlight to your cheeks. Now I'm gonna turn my brush over and use this higher end here. Put that right into the highlight and brush that on the very tops of my cheekbone. And this is going to bring just a beautiful shimmer especially when natural light hits it. Putting a little bit on my nose, my chin. So just the areas we wanna draw light to. And a couple touches on my forehead. It's the same reason why we put a little bit of the shimmer here and here, because when we're in the natural light, it's gonna bring highlight to those areas. I'm gonna be using my nude lip liner. And this is light nude. Define my lips. It's gonna help my color to stay on. 
Now for a holiday party, you wanna be using something kind of fun and bold. So I'm gonna put some uh, primer on to help it stay. Now I'm primed, I'm lined, and I can put on a crushed berry. And what a crushed berry is, it's a great holiday color. So if you're gonna go super sexy smoldery, you know, it's fun to play it up with an apple berry or a crushed berry. Um, if you've got undertones like I do, which I have that olive undertone, so I love the way that purples look on me. Um, or if you are, you know, you've got a red smolder um, and you've got just a lot of reds in, to play around with this time of year. Uh, and that's what I love about Mary Kay is that there's so many choices for red and it matches your undertone and then you've got a good thing going on. So here we go. There we go. Beautiful coloring. Love that matte coloring. So put my hair down, finish that up. You see as soon as the light hits, you can see where the highlight's hitting. So it's a little bit when you're playing with a lot of colors versus one or two. Um, you know, you can really get a lot of depth and dimension out of playing with many different colors, uh, even starting with those natural colors in the crease and building them out to those grays and those blacks. So um, on a bad day, there's always lipstick, which is what the rest of my shirt says. And I hope that you have a blessed day.